Hey, you know him from Sportsnet, of course, co-anchor for Sportsnet Central. Not only is he a great broadcaster and a lover of all things sports, but he is also a card collector. We are joined by Ken Reed here this morning. Welcome to the show, Ken. It's great to have you. Thanks, Derek. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. You know, this just I, honestly walks me down memory lane. I remember collecting so many cards. I always regretted that I never saved them, but you did save them. And how, how many cards in your collection, Ken? I did. I probably have 50,000, maybe a few more right now. My wife loves it. You know, she's really happy with it. So <laughs> it takes up a guest room in her house. So, I see. You know, it's fun. Yeah, of course Something it is. Keeps you out of trouble. Uh, you know, we all collected cards as youngsters, but w what made you keep them? Was it was it something that you decided on your own, or was it was it your was it um, your mom, your dad? Yeah, I was into it hardcore as a kid, and I've always been a nostalgic guy. I, I like the throwback stuff, so uh, th their connection to my childhood. I grew up in Nova Scotia, so I was a 12-hour drive to Montreal. I love the Habs. Nice. But the NHL was a far-off place for me, so the way I could connect to the NHL was by you know having some hockey cards in my hands and I could say okay this is what this is what this player looks like okay this is what Mike McPhee looks like because I didn't see guys on on TV every night it was it was once a week on Saturday night yeah. so it was a connection to the game I love uh, and you've of course you decided to write a, a, a book about it now you've just come out with your latest book hockey card stories too can you share like one of those really <sighs> intriguing stories about about a hockey card uh, yeah. that we could find in, in the latest issue uh, there's a lot of great stories in here. I talked to 59 guys about their cards. So the, the cards I had, and I talked to the guys about uh, what they think of their old cards. And there's a good one in there, Cam Russell. Uh, he's the general manager of the Halifax Mooseheads in the Quebec League now. And he has a card where he's posed and he's trying to cross-check the camera. He's got a broken nose, <laughs> a couple black eyes. So he told me about that story the night before he got beat up in Chicago, sent down to the minors. He finds out it's pitcher day, and lo and behold, he's, I don't want to take my picture like this. The photographer just kind of says, go with it in this... This beauty of a card that a lot of people don't know of is produced, so I, I have that story in this book. Nice. Do you have an all-time favorite card in your collection, Ken? All-time favorite card in my collection is my Wayne Gretzky rookie card. It's beat oh. up. It's not worth much. It's in bad shape, but it yeah. was a childhood quest from, uh, from when I was a kid, so, so that would be my favorite. Uh, I remember talking about this last year. I was so excited because it really brought, as I said, memories back. And now I actually have one of the books that you can put the Tim Hortons Collector Series NHL Upper Deck Series. It's back again this year. Uh, yeah. That you know, that's a great way for a young person to get started on their own co collection, right, Ken? It, it absolutely is. And the, the beauty of these Tim Hortons cards is, is people always say, "Well, how can kids get into collecting? It's so expensive." These are 99 cents a pack if you get a coffee so I mean I'm a Tim Hortons every day I, yeah. I buy a lot of hockey cards every October <laughs> through Tim Hortons but I give them to my kids I know people collect them uh, 99 cents a pack you get a chance to get an autographed Sidney Crosby card uh, there's little digital codes on the back of each pack so if you want to go online and trade that way you can oh, there's cool. going to be trading nights uh, there's going to be contests you can win a meet and greet with Sidney Crosby uh, who's a great guy by the way nice fella of course. and uh, I mean <laughs> Derek, you know, there's, there's nothing like ripping open a pack, right? Because it's, it's kind of like Christmas. You never know yeah, what you're going to get. Exactly. So here we go. We'll rip one open. Okay. Tell okay. me what you got uh, there. Victor Hedman, solid D, Tampa nice. Bay Lightning. Yeah. Eric Stahl, old, reliable, Minnesota Wild. Mm -hmm. Corey Perry, can't go wrong with Corey Perry, the Anaheim Ducks. So you never know who you're going to get. I got a Crosby earlier today. So, but and I guess that, that sign, Crosby, that's the key collectible card that, that everyone's going to be looking for, right? There are 87 signed Sidney Crosby cards okay. randomly inserted into these packs. So, if you get one of those, you'll be doing well. And, I mean, for me, it's just, it's a great way to pass the hobby on to some kids. Yeah. To get them to flip a card over and go, oh, Corey Perry, I didn't know he was from Peterborough. And, wow, he's, he's really old. He was born in 1985. <laughs> but, you know what? Like, look at this, Corey Perry, 957 games. So when I was a kid, and, and Derek, I'm sure they're the same, there was no mm. Google. So this is no. where you got your information. So exactly. I, I love it. I love it. It's, it's something that kids can just hold in their hands, and they get to see the players. And it's a really innocent hobby. And I'm really happy that Tim Hortons and, and Upper Deck are bringing it to the next generation. Because a lot of us in the hockey card hobby are kind of concerned about how we can pass it on to the next generation yeah. and this is a great way well and i had the great fortune Ken, you mentioned those trading card nights last year i had the great fortune of actually going to a tim hortons where they were gathering for a trading card night and it was okay. just so many different you know demographics so many different people like the men and women young and old they were all there uh we're just showing some footage here and they they were having the time of their life trading these cards yeah. i spoke to so many of them and one guy was like three cards away from getting the full mm -hmm. 
full mm -hmm. full book, so he was excited to be there. So people can look out if you go onto the uh, Tim Hortons website, you can find out where a trading card night is happening in 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 your region, right across the country. It's nice, innocent fun, and like you said, young, old, boys, girls, anybody can do it. Doesn't take skill to collect cards. Trust me, I know. I'm not and, a very skilled guy. And I got a ton of them. So we'll pick I, them up. Sorry, go ahead. Finish your thought there. No, I was just going to say, it's, it's just fun. It's innocent fun, so it's, you know, it's, it's a good time. And people, of course, can pick up Hockey Card Stories, Volume 2, anywhere. And I just want to showcase this because Tim Hortons also has hockey cards printed right on donuts. They're, of course, edible donuts, so check out uh, those in your local Tim Hortons locations as well. Ken, thanks so much for joining us here this morning. Thanks, Derek. Appreciate the time, buddy. All right, take care, man.